went to see David. David the Good. Welcome back. I have been having way too much fun lately. I mean, really, way too much fun. Of course, the sort of things I do for fun are maybe not the same sort of things that you do for fun. For me, fun is finding new plants. Kind of a weird fun, I guess. But it is fun. This here is Anona reticulata. This is the custard apple. The custard apple is in the same family as soursop, it's in the same family as sugar apple and cherimoya and all that jazz. It's also related to the pond apple, which grows in South Florida and is that's not the best edible in the world, even though it's really kind of cool looking and they're neat plants and you can eat them, they're not supposed to be very good. This particular plant is supposed to make pretty good fruit, though it's not a highly productive tree. I've read that they estimate they make about 20 to 40 fruit a year. That's enough for me. I'm going to plant some. You want me to eat it? I will. I'll eat it. I'll eat it right now in film. All right, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Let's see. Not great. It's actually totally full of seeds, but it's kind of got a mild, um, a mild sugar apple flavor to it, but it's not as good as a sugar apple. You know, maybe this is better for a chicken to eat. It smells better than it tastes. I'm gonna plant seeds anyways, just because I do things like that. But I have something that's even better to show you. Just a second. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Anybody know what this is? All right. You've got you've got a couple of seconds. You got a couple of seconds to guess before I tell you what it is. What is it? Come on. What is it? What is it? Look at that thing. Isn't that weird? That is called potato yam. It's actually uh, Dioscoria escalenta, which is different from the Dioscoria alata that I usually grow, which is the greater yam. This is the lesser yam. And you can tell why it's called the lesser yam. The yams are lesser. This yam is supposed to cook very quickly. It's rather scarce. A local farmer found it for me. I, I asked him about the different varieties that he'd seen in the past, and he went around here and there and gathered yams, and then this morning showed up with multiple different varieties and enough to plant like a quarter acre of yams once we cut them up and plant them. And yes, I'm going to plant probably about a quarter acre of yams. So part of that is gonna be these potato yams, Dioscoria escalenta. Um, but I was told that these yams actually have such thin skin uh, and it's inoffensive, not particularly woody skin that you can take these yams and just steam them or boil them with the skins on. You don't have to peel them like you have to do with Dioscoria alata or the winged yam, oh, which is also called the greater yam. And this yam is also supposed to have a sweetness to it. Um, it's supposed to be a very good, fine, flesh. And it's kind of cool that it produces like potatoes. I think it's time to do a little close-up shot of them so you can see them. See that cup gonna fill it up. Hear that beat gonna bump it up. Soon those roots will be busting up and we'll have yams for every sup. That's the sort of thing I dig. I mean, <laughs> literally. So anyhow, these yams, the lesser yam, uh, it's kind of nice because they will produce all of these smaller sort of like potatoes. And that I've read that it's an excellent substitute for Idaho potatoes. You know, if you were down, or the Irish potato, depends on what you want to call it. If you were down in a uh, tropical climate, because potatoes don't really do all that well here, you can replace them with yams. So that's exactly what we're going to do. When I asked the farmer how these yams grow, he said that the central portion right here is where the vine comes out of. And these are dormant right now because it's the dry season. Yams have a distinct dormant season and active growing season. This central portion right here is where the vine grows out of. And there's actually a vine that's about to wake up in there. And he says, when these burst into growth at the beginning of the rainy season, or just shortly now from, from now, these yams will actually disappear. They'll get 
used up and the carbohydrates in them will be channeled into growing the vine and these will just rot away in the ground which is kind of cool but he said what happens is if they're like this they'll always come back and they'll grow this center out again if you left this whole cluster in the ground year after year it will make a set of yams like these and then these yams will disappear when they burst into growth it'll just eat them up and it'll produce a new set of them from roots at the top it's really kind of cool but he said if you separate each one of these individual roots you can take one of these roots and plant it and that will make a new set it'll grow a vine out of the center it'll start to make a series of little roots and it'll make a cluster of yams just like this one one thing he wasn't sure of on the potato yam or lesser yam was if you could just take the central portion of it cut all the roots off it and plant that and if it would do all right or not so i'm going to try planting one of those two and we'll see how it works so that's the exciting news for today i found an anona reticulata at the beach and a dioscoria escalenta or a few clusters of them actually and we're going to be planting them down the hill i think i've probably got enough to do at least a quarter acre or half an acre and i'm going to start setting that up really still waiting for rain we've had next to none and the ground is hard as a rock come on you can do it Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This right here is parsley growing in a mulch of seaweed, which we did not do much rinsing on. I just sort of rinsed it once in a bucket and threw it in here. They don't seem to mind. We had multiples in here, but some of them got chewed down and so we've got one, two, three remaining, and it's still, it's been so dry. Here's another one right here too. Not much to look at, but I'm hoping they'll do okay and that the mulch will help keep in some moisture. Uh, our water was off again for three days this week. And so, you know, it's a matter of getting rainwater or river water to water everything up here close to the house, which is kind of a pain. And the pump was not working on the backup tank. <laughs> Before I go, I want you guys to see the complete assortment of yam varieties here. This is four different types. This is a Lisbon yam. This one is sometimes called the early yam because it produces early. This is from the second cutting. You can cut them twice in a year. You grow them once uh, the first half of the year and then in about August, you would cut the top, carefully remove the bottom, leave the roots coming out of there, and then it will grow back and make this smaller tuber so you can actually get two this is a variety of, like an improved variety of uh, Dioscoria alata, and it's got some red in it. You can see it's kind of got a purple stem. This is not the fully purple one, but it makes a nice type. If I was going to propagate this, I would take this piece right here uh, off the top and replant it, and then these could be divided and cut. I mean, you could probably get 15, 20 plants out of this one right here. And then this, of course, is the potato yam or the lesser yam. Lesser yam, greater yam, prickly yam, Lisbon yam, which is, I believe, the same species as this one. This one, I'm not sure if it's the same species as this one, but they certainly grow in a different manner. Oh yeah. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. It up. Soon those roots will be busting up, and we'll have yams for every sup. Yo, I gave all my spuds to boot, cause I'm in the woods, I'm grabbing loot. I'm looking for that yammy shoot, and the yam horn I'm a gonna toot. Ladies, I got something for ya, check out my fly, be a score ya. Hello fellas, what you got up? That can't compete with my allotta. See that cup, wanna fill it up, hear that beat, gonna bump it up. Do my eyes look like a psycho killer when I do that?